So uh, here we have today, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order is, is on Steam for pre-order. Here's the comment I left, okay? And, and Steam even censored the, 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 the word that I used, okay? Um, I said, um, and I'll quote, in fact, let's go look at the comment, okay? Because <laughs> this is this is the thread I was in, a new game on Steam, EA game on Steam. Okay, so I went in here, right, and then you'll see down here a little ways, la 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 la, right. So it says, uh, "Who's saying the Epic Store is terrible now?" Gee, EA on Steam pre-purchase after Battlefront 2, are they retarded? Now, if you take the minus signs out they 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 censor you or worse they think we're all retarded especially after battlefront 2 you know like i hate to say it guys they shouldn't even be offering a, that's a slap in the face to anybody okay they should be uh not doing a pre-order at all okay period <laughs> like ooh ah uh. <laughs> it's just and the comments are just all uh you know what i mean it's just a whole screw you kind of language 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 <laughs> people trying to report people for using language because they're idiots yeah you can guess what that word says <laughs> yeah yeah there's another one Oh boy. And then there's a guy trying to justify how public companies like EA, you know, they have to look after their shareholders. Oh yeah, sure. Cuz if you keep putting out games that that screw the users of those games, you know, your shareholders are going to make lots and lots more money. Well, you know, we should do a little thing here on 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 let's seeing how EA EA has done since uh 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 the Battlefront 2 thing. How their share price was going up, 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 up as they were still making more and more of these predatory things and people were starting to get more and more angry and then finally it, re it released in Battlefront 2. Okay? And then it was every single game they release nitpicking. Okay? Things that normally wouldn't, nobody would care about, people suddenly started caring. Okay? And this goes back to Battle, uh, Battlefield 5, right? Where they had the, the woman in World War II with the prosthetic arm and, you know, uh, all kinds of other wacky stuff that wasn't there, you know. Um, and their ideologies and politics in, in the game and then that leaks coming out about that. And, you know, and, and this is all part of the, where it gets back to, you know, some Hong Kong stuff where, people are, are you know I get it guys we all recognize that China's civil rights isn't exactly all that great but I can actually say before you go off and and pepper uh, you know another nation look after yourselves first okay and I'm looking mainly at most most of these people that are raging or just look they just they go around and they look for their negative people they look for problems all the time, and then they jump on the bandwagon whenever there's a problem. They're not the kind of people that will say, this is a problem, how do we solve it? Okay, over in Hong Kong, they had this guy who murdered his pregnant wife, and actually he was in Taiwan, then he fled to Hong Kong because he knew there was no extradition treaty and he could hide there. The guy then gets busted, okay, they get him, okay, and they, they charge him with money laundering. He gets... He gets convicted of that and spent gets 29 months. He'll be out, or he's already out, or whatever. So, how do you solve this? So what the Chinese government did, they pushed the Hong Kong government to make some changes to this extradition law to make it uh, uh, UN friendly, that you can't be extradited for political reasons. They went all out for that, okay? So there's no way that the guy who was worried in the news about uh, I published some books that were anti-Chinese and you know blasting their government they're they're, they're gonna use this law and they're gonna grab me and, and and take me to China and throw me in a gulag or whatever that's not gonna happen because it won't it would wouldn't be in the law okay what's happened though is you get the Antifa like peoples 
who just like to go around smashing and grabbing and stealing and everything else, they get out there and they start causing some trouble. Okay? That's exactly what's going down here. And you can see it. Okay? When when I saw that they withdrew the bill, okay, one week before this, they, and then the next week you have the leader of this so-called uh, uh, movement in an airport talking about how they wanted that law removed and everything else. Hey, buddy, where you been for the last week? You're in the country and you don't know they already removed the law? What's wrong with you? That just tells you that they're doing things, and then it's leaked out that John Bolton's friends with this major business leader who's supporting them, and and you got and you wonder why you know why John Bolton got fired. That's one of the main reasons Bolton got fired is because he's he's blatantly interfering in stuff like that that makes the U.S. look bad, real bad. So what is what they're doing then? Is they're supporting baby killers? Anyway, this 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 is just the same thing. Eh? It's just we don't want. We're uh, there's no way. There's no way you should do a pre-order on this. Do not, do not pre-order this game until you know we get some gameplay. Uh, you know, and, and even so, why would you buy it? Okay. I mean, it, when they put start the the Battlefront 2 on sale for five bucks, I was gonna go buy it, and then I thought, mm, I'll wait until I got money I can spare. <laughs> and then they jacked it back up to like thirty or forty dollars, right? They just wanted to suck some people in, and then you know back to normal, right? Remember everybody. Kathleen Kennedy said the force is female, so, you know, if you're a guy, this is not for you anymore. It's just for females. Just remember that. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> I mean, this just, I just literally turned on Steam and it, this just came on and like there's already like a couple hundred comments going, Screw up, blah, 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 rage, rage. <laughs> I just had to put my own comment in there because uh, there's just no way I can't not say anything about this. <laughs> EA on Steam. And you still need your Origin account, so like, what's the sense of it even being here? One guy was saying refunds. Oh, yeah, okay, sure. See what this guy says. Hold on here. Once again, another jump from twenty nine ninety nine, thirty nine ninety nine, forty four ninety nine, fifty pounds. That a fifty pounds Canadian <coughs> is almost eighty dollars for a game. Sorry, guys. That's the th it, games. And, and I'm going to be honest with all of you. Like, I can prove it to you, okay? Tarmac in Canada here did a video about, in his own research, that AAA games compared to 2006 were 40% cheaper. So the $60 price tag, they have got, over a 10-year period, a 40% extra re revenue stream, okay? And if you look at what Epic Games is doing with the... Uh, uh, the devs, okay, and all the crap that they're giving out for free, okay, yeah, okay, it, it, if you did a whole game just using this stuff, it's called a, it, people might call it an asset flip, so a lot of people say, do some changes to things, okay, that's cool, that's cool, but you could make the, um, if you had a good team, you could do the equivalent of a triple A game, okay, with a team of maybe 10 people or, or so, <coughs> And you could do it for a lot less than, you know, you could you could do probably sell it for 20, 20 pounds or thirty dollars Canadian, and you'd make serious money. Now, granted, you would probably want to put your game if you're an indie, 
on Steam okay because you might get some more exposure you might not the pro there's 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 two philosophies there if you're good in, it's a good enough game being on an epic store where there's very few uh, titles compared to steam with thousands okay you get noticed more okay versus having lots of traffic coming by somebody you know word of mouth if you got the ability for the word of mouth and your game is good and you've you've you know you do a free weekend beta test or something where everybody gets in says, this is really cool then you got that that momentum there there's issues uh, with that I have with supporting steam okay there's a ton of malware floating around in this place there's uh, you know people in their politics are shoving around in here and it's you know I don't like that okay I don't want it in my games okay so if I, I go and make a game right I would have a strict policy like that and and then the person gets in the game they immerse themselves in the universe and they don't have to they can escape from reality and that's what that's what they're paying for they're paying for the power they get in the game and the escapism okay they're not paying for watching CNN in the game okay or Fox whichever one you care about okay <laughs> you know um, but yeah Yep, EA trying to monetize. Anyway, I just thought I'd throw this up there this morning. Um, you'll you'll be seeing more of this as it goes on. Anyway, have a good one, guys. Here, just let me get out of there. And uh, let me see here. Oop. Okay.